I'm going to teach you how to use your active rook on the 7th rank. Each white and black has a rook and a pawn. However, white is to move and your task is to find a winning plan. And a rook on 7th rank will help you to realize it. Ok, how would you play for white? You may pause this video and think a little bit. If you can't find how to win this position, I will help you and explain everything. You see that white rook cuts off black king. This position looks like Philidor position, but black has a pawn on g5, and white can use it to cover his king. King to e6, threatening into checkmate. Rook e2, check. This is the only move. For example, if king d8, then just f7, and nobody stops this pawn. After rook e2, white plays king to f5. g4. Black tries to sacrifice his pawn to open g file, what would lead to Philidor position and the draw. But white doesn't want to take this pawn, but plays king to g6. White king has a shelter because of this pawn. Rook f2. f7, check. King to d8. Rook b8, check. King to e7. Rook e8, check. The rook is protected by the pawn. King goes to d7 and just f8. Black should resign. What you should learn from this puzzle is that to win rook endgame you should keep your pieces active. If there is a chance to shield your king using your own pawn or your opponent's pawn, use it. We will continue with the new puzzle in the next lecture.